kids my here. Kids, yes. What's their pathways? Mm. I, uh, what's in, what do they need? Or... Mm hmm. Hmm. Which one do you want to focus on first? <laughs> We're both at kind of a little bit of a crossroad. Let's talk about our daughter first, I guess. Okay. What's your daughter's first name? Cassandra. Cassandra. Okay. Okay. She feels older than she is. Is she in college now? She is, yes. Okay. She feels a lot, I mean, to be honest, she like I said, she feels older than she is. There's a lot of maturity there. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I also feel a lot of, um, oh, it's a couple, actually, okay, three. I was going to say a couple things, now it's three, okay. Uh, one thing I feel is indecisiveness, like, mm -hmm really cannot make a decision to save her life like even down to what, do I, what do i wear today yeah <laughs> it's no, like no. you it's an old british term the agony ant which is the it's a, an old term of, of talking about you know if you have a problem you write a letter to the agony ant she, she <laughs> tells you what your answer is it's kind of like dear abby okay. uh, so she would be writing letters to the agony ant about what do i wear today <laughs> what is that so that's part of it. And then there's, there is the life course issue. And I do feel like, okay. The good news is the tougher news. The good news is, is that she's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. She's very smart as a whip and, and twice as quick. At the same time, I feel like that's the reason why she can't decide what direction she wants to go because mm -hmm. she likes too many things way too much. There's, there's a lot of glitz and a lot of, and I don't want to say marketing, but everything just looks so darn good for her. And it's hard for her to settle down on one particular thing. Mm -hmm. Um The other feeling I get is that when you talk with her about this, if you've had the chance to talk with her or whenever you bring it up or mm -hmm. she brings it up, man, she really is a tough cookie. Um, I feel like when you talk to her about it, she takes the opposite side. So if you're looking at one particular pathway and saying, oh, this would be a good one, it's going to be yes, but is the response. Mm -hmm. No matter which one you choose, mm -hmm. like I said, she's so intelligent, she can play devil's advocate against herself. Mm -hmm. And so she ends up jumping all over the place with this thing. Where's the right direction? I feel like, okay, I feel like one thing for her in the midst of all this decision-making and discernment, I feel like it's coming close, like she has to really make the decision. Is this like des deciding on the major at this point? Uh, she's had a major. She's finishing her third year since still. Okay. Yeah, she'll be graduating okay. in a year. Right, so it's getting to that. Okay, next step <laughs> coming up here. Yes. Um, in the pioneer days, we'd have you married off by now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, man. Uh, so what I feel like with her, a couple different things. One is, no, it's not about security. It's about worth for her. Okay, I feel like what's really getting in the way for her is this, it's elusive, I'll put it that way. She wants to do something that will make her happy. 
that mm -hmm. she will be happy with. And, and then a, that's a very, very good thing to do. The trouble is I feel like she's really confused. I don't think she even knows she's confused about the definition of happiness for her. Mm. And so she has to back off a little bit because in terms of the, the looking at the happiness end, because when she looks at the happiness end, it's looking at it from the perspective of, am I emotionally happy with things? And the, the, the sad part of that is that when anyone makes a decision like that, uh, based on just the emotional level, the happiness thing is all over the place. You know, you're happy. One, you know how it goes. You're happy one day, <laughs> you're not the next, or from right. hour to hour, it may change. Right. So, and so that's, that's the part that she's kind of, I feel like she's getting unwittingly pulled into that confusion. So for her to back away a little bit and look at, okay, what are the things that give her a sense of satisfaction? That at the end of the day, she can say, I made a difference. Because I feel like that's the most important thing for her. She wants to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for her, it's, it's making a difference with people. It's getting that feedback of connecting with a person, connecting with people specifically. I keep seeing her. Is she looking at like medical or veterinary something? Because I keep seeing this Red Cross thing with her. She wants to go to PA school is her thought. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like that gives her... Yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, but she's also smart enough to get through that. I, I feel for her, it, honestly, I feel like with her, if she doesn't have a challenge, she's bored and angry. I mean, it just, it's just like she likes to have something to push against mm -hmm. uh, because it pushes her. And when there's nothing to push against, she'll find it's like, it's like we used to, <laughs> no offense to anyone Irish, I'm part of Irish myself. But it's like the old saying, you know, a drunk Irishman looking for a fight. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of what she turns into. She's like, come on, somebody fight with me. At least I can have, have some sense of aliveness here. So I feel like as far as the challenge of, of a career in that direction, that's wonderful. That's going to be perfect for her. Um, Truthfully, I think if she were to go, at least the way it feels here, I could be all wet on this. The way it feels here, if she were to go any other direction, she would feel like she was missing out. And that I feel like is the better way for her to make the decision is like, okay, if you go a particular path, mm -hmm. Are you going to feel like you're missing out on something? Or I always, the way I connect to that particular feeling was when I, there was a book, this was gosh, 20 years ago now, there was a book that I saw in a bookstore and I really wanted to get it. And then I was, you know, I talked myself out of it. I was really good at that. I'm very good at talking myself out of a lot of things. And so I talked myself out of buying it. And then I found that, I, it kept bothering me. It was like, I can't leave the store without buying this thing because if I don't buy it, I, I, I'm just going to regret it. I know I'm going to regret it. It's, I mean, something's missing in my life because I didn't do this. So I did end up actually buying the book. And the path that led on was hilariously funny because it, 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 it was a simple book, but it was ironic because it was written by the president of the university that my future wife went to. <laughs> it connected me with her. It connected me with everything about her. It was, it was oh. weird, but I had to have a book. Um, then when she found out I had it after we were married, she's like, oh, that wow, I've never even read that book. It's like, oh, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> 
help me get to know you you know it was yeah. it was just really awkwardly funny how it all worked together yeah. but that's what happened and the same thing is true here for her it's the pathway that she knows if she doesn't do it she's going to feel like she missed you know and it's okay and and there, there's a level there that certainly she wants to do the sure thing that's a given but honestly i i feel like she applies herself so well because mm -hmm. she is self-disciplined, even though she doesn't seem like it sometimes. Uh, she is self-disciplined. She really is pretty organized internally that she would make make it through this. She would do fine. Um, what are the other directions that she's been looking at? She always comes back to that. Um, she just really is second guessing herself a lot. She even talked about coming home and raising cattle or. Oh my gosh, she'd be so unhappy. I don't photography? See, she even saw photography at one point. She could do I, She could do it, but I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, no, she's, I'm not doubting her abilities or anything and certainly her adaptability is good, but. I, 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 ironically, I, my, uh, sis, one of my sisters-in-law uh, is a professional photographer and I really couldn't see her. I couldn't see Cassandra doing that. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's just, it doesn't, no, it's nice. It's nice. I'm not, not, uh -huh. not knocking it. It's just, I don't think it's for her. She needs something that is going, I'm sorry, raising cattle. I think that's fun. Uh, <laughs> Not for her. <laughs> right, yeah. She needs something that is going to stimulate her intellect and challenge her to communicate and connect. Mm -hmm. And she can really do that. I feel like she's been starting. I feel like she's starting to come out of her shell a little more. Good. And that has been that's an eye opener. And the good news is, is that if she goes the PA direction, that's going to open more of that for her. Okay. And that's what she really needs mm -hmm. um, for her own growth more than anything else. And the, the beautiful part of this for her is, is that the more she grows and challenges herself and she can continually do it because that's just the nature of the work she's going into. It's always evolving. It's always changing as if the past couple of years haven't been proof of that. Right. Um, you know, it's always changing. The more she grows, she pulls so many other people with her along that way. And she makes a difference. I feel like she makes a difference in a lot of people's lives that, that give her that sense of satisfaction that make the end of the day worth it for her. Mm -hmm. I feel like that that works the best for it. So I mean, really, and the other thing is, the minute you said it, I was like, okay, that's like the big, big green flag right there. Uh, when you said she keeps coming back to it, it's like if you keep coming back to it, you kind of have to at some point admit that the battle's over. And it, okay, now that I just said that. I feel like one of the things that, I don't know what the word would be. I think one of the things that's preventing her from making a decision mm -hmm. is the fact that the battle will be over. Yeah. She will have made the decision and it's done and she commits and then that's all there is to it. And then it's like, well, what do I fight now? Um, you know, it's like, well, you know, that, that you, there are other things to do, <laughs> you know, so I, I feel like that's part of it is that there is a certain amount of, uh, I don't know if joy is the best word, but certainly a feeling of purpose in trying to figure out what the next step is okay. and, and having a, yes, having a problem to solve. She needs to have that problem to solve. Okay. Um, so I feel like that. But really, the, the, strong, the strong feeling and message I get there is 
to go the PA direction okay. and not even to look back, you know, Good. it's, you know, worst case scenario, it doesn't work out and she raises cattle <laughs> right. and takes yeah. pictures and takes pictures of them. I don't know. Right. I, <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, that's, yeah, the, the PA direction okay. really is the best direction for okay. Um, and then, then our son Travis, switching to him a little bit. He's interesting. Um, is he married? No, he's a senior in high school this year. Okay. He sure has that feeling in him. Mm. Um, maybe he's just got girls on the brain right now. Oh. It's really interesting. Got this strong feeling coming. Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to get out of that energy because it's a really strong energy with him. Um, Interesting. Competing. Yeah. Feels like a lot of competing goals going 